In this problem, we are given this equation right here. We seek to find the m that satisfies one of these expressions. We have expression a, b, c, d, and e, and we don't know the correct answer until we go about solving this. To start this off, we need to substitute a few things in. We are going to use that y is equal to xm. We need the derivative for this, so our y prime is going to equal m times x m minus 1. Now we need the derivative of this, so y double prime is equal to m times our m minus 1 times x m minus 2. Now that we have all of this, we can plug it back into our original equation. Now we have all of this. Um, for these parts right here, what I did was I took these x's and I separated them. So I took the x m and then I separate it, I multiplied it by the next power. So separating them allows us to do a couple of different things. One, it allows us to get rid of the xms here for all of them. Next, we can cancel out because we have this x squared here and this x raised to the negative squared and cancel both of these out. And we're gonna do the same thing for this other one where we have this x and this x to the negative one. After we get rid of all of that, we're going to have a new equation. So after we combine all the like terms, we are going to be left with this. And we can see that it is the correct answer for A. So A will be the answer to this problem.